G'day everyone, um, how are you going today? I oh, will just do a follow up video on our Synology NAS uh, network access storage device. I'll show you how to create desktop shortcut with a Synology NAS. So we're running the 918 Plus, which is 32 gig, oh, sorry, 32 terabyte. Be able to access your NAS, so it's going through the Synology web browser um, to log in to extract videos or upload so uh, this is a quicker way that I found so um, what we'll do in I'll just reduce that in Windows File Explorer <coughs> open that up so we can see in Windows File Explorer or this PC just open your desktop so this is File Explorer, so what you do, you type in your, uh, in your PC Sorry, double slashes, double backslashes uh, Your P IP address is server and This is mine <coughs> And you press enter So a, a screen will come up to show login credentials and um, as I'm an administrator um, I have full access but um, yeah so you'll only be showing what access you have to what company or personal server you have so I'll just type in my details Amy password press OK password's wrong try again It's always good to have a good strong password because you don't want um, people, always people trying to break in or trying to access some sort of system all over the world tapping every day. So here you go, this is my server, this is all my folders, files and everything. And. Um, uh, now I have a list of folders that are displayed and in this you'll only be given access to the folders you have permission to access to <coughs> so um, so what we do so what I can do here is say I want um, our YouTube videos to be accessed on this laptop which is a, a secondary, secondary system right click your, fo your folder you want to create a shortcut to um, and create shortcut and you'll be prompted and Windows cannot create a shortcut here would you like to shortcut to be placed on your desktop instead yes so if I go back in my, into my desktop I'll just reduce that and reduce that here we go and I have full access to all their videos without logging all the time um, and also you can actually map your drive if you right click it map drive network you allocated a name uh, sorry a letter a name so I'll say A um, reconnect the sign in or you can have actually connect using different credentials so what I'll do finish this so now if I go to the net oh here we go so if I go, go to I'll just get out of this go to my PC open that up and actually see I've got a network drive linked straight to my uh, Synology NAS which I can which allows me to access videos 
download it and do whatever. Um, this is far easier than the original method of, um, yeah. So originally, what you had to do was log in through the web browser. Um, try that again. Previously, this is how we used to log in, um, and this is good for. Oh, this is more of an admin role. Check up, see your, um, how, how your this station is, um, your health, who's logged in. Um, yeah, control panel. Info center and all that. So, so yeah. So, um, I just log out of that. So anyway, so this is a quick tutorial on how to access your how to create a shortcut on your desktop, Windows desktop, so you can actually NAS straight away. So it's going into the web original web browser that Synology has, which is fabulous. But I just find it a pain. Yeah, I want to pull out videos, edit, and um, and yeah, logging in or automatic logging in. I just find this method far easier. So now I can I can pull out, uh, yeah, whatever videos I, I like. And um, yeah, so hope you like this video. So the good thing about NAS is. Um, I can plug any computer, or actually, I can log into any computer as long as it's your, I have my or you have your login cred cred credentials. Uh, you can log in into my uh, NAS from anywhere in the world. Um, at this moment, we have a person from uh, actually two people from the Philippines, for example. Uh, they got their own login credentials. So, what they do, they log into our NAS. Uh, Upload videos and um, in the, straight into our NAS, and the videos are here within minutes. And, and yeah, I allocate and put them in the, which folders I want. And far better where previously videos were sent through Facebook, and it's always 760p, not the 1080. And yeah, very bad for trying to edit a, a 4K video. So anyway, hope you like this. Um, yeah, stay tuned for some more. Thanks.